Journal Entry 61, The Summoning. I was summoned by Nathaniel yesterday. That has never been a good sign, and this time was no exception. I had sent a letter to Desmond and asked for a meeting to explore the possibilities of making some trade arrangement for the benefit of both our houses. I had done this without telling anyone, hoping to prove myself somewhat in the eyes of my family, or whatever it is. And Desmond had replied. He replied to Lord Borghese of Divinity's Reach. Of course Nathaniel got the letter, and he was not pleased. Because of Desmond calling me his shield brother in the letter, it was not hard for Nathaniel to understand who the true recipient of the letter was. It was a long time since I saw him that furious. Jenna was also there, of course, with a condescending grin on her face, but at least she was quiet and let her father unleash his anger uninterrupted. He accused me of going behind his back to undermine his authority in an attempt to get back at him and to make him lose his standing amongst the other houses. I replied that I did not have to because he did that on his own to perfection. That made him start to scream that I was renounced from his house and if I refused to leave immediately he would send for the Seraph. Deborah walked in, hearing the angered screams and wanted to know what was going on. It took her several minutes to make Nathaniel be quiet long enough for me to tell my version of the story and as always she tried to stay neutral, refusing to side with any of us. She reprimanded me for acting on behalf of the house without their consent and forbid me to sign any contract binding the house to fulfill some obligations. Then she demanded to know more of House Halsterk and how I came into contact with them. I told them what I know and that all I had done was to set up a meeting, not signing any contract. I do not want to go into any more detail of what happened, but in the end Deborah succeeded in convincing Nathaniel to let me go forward with the meeting, then report back to them for approval or rejection. Nathaniel probably saw the prospect of a highly profitable business arrangement as more important than thrashing me and he let me go with a warning. This caused Jenna great annoyance, I think she hoped for me being renounced. I smiled and nodded at her courtly before making my way back to my own house. She did not return my token of respect.